So, why would anyone want to leave underground? There are two reasons. Either to escape the harsh weather conditions or to get away from disasters, whether natural or man-made. Cooper Pedy, for example, is located in the middle of the Australian desert, and its daytime temperature often exceeds 40 degrees Celsius. These people built dugouts to escape the scorching heat. At ground temperature, the temperature remains relatively constant at 22 degrees Celsius all year round, so that air conditioning and heaters are used sparingly. Cooper Pedy does not get its power from the power grid, but from a standalone hybrid diesel wind solar system. Air shafts ensure good ventilation of the air throughout the dugouts. Since it hardly rains in Cooper Pedy, there is essentially no risk of water infiltration or damage to the dugouts caused by the roots of the trees. Otherwise, the dugout's orientation would be critical. Our next example is the underground city of Beijing, which was built between 1969 and 1979 as a bomb shelter in anticipation of a nuclear war with the Soviet Union. Zero automation, just the shovels of local citizens. The complex was reportedly equipped with restaurants, clinics, schools, theaters, factories, and even a roller skating rink to help keep people physically healthy and mentally sane. In fact, people have coined a new term for such underground homes, called the Earth Scraper. These subterranean homes have become increasingly popular over the last few decades and are an important sector of the green building movement. Unlike conventional homes, they can be built on steep surfaces and maximize space in small areas by going below the surface. One example is Sentinel de las Bodegas, a small town in southern Spain that lies beneath massive rock overhangs. Underground living would make us less susceptible to Mother Nature's wrath, and even earthquakes would be less damaging under the surface due to inertia, which explains why countries like Japan are particularly keen to build underground living spaces. Other benefits of living underground include energy efficiency and minimal impact on local ecology. So this is where evolution has led us? From cavemen to hobbits? Makes me wonder who is the smarter one.